We are here on our fun. Ma'am. Thank you. We are here on our final day of No Bones About It Puppy Day School slash team training with Nina. And I'm going to take a quick take a break because down. To this phase of adolescence um, she is going to have periods where oh excuse me she's gonna have periods where she completely regresses totally normal part of development um, I love for my clients to do some kind of ongoing education whether it's a group class or um, you know finding a trainer who might work with you once every month or six weeks to just kind of keep you on task and give you things to work towards uh, through, you know, a minimum of, I mean, I feel like training for my dog, I'm just always doing stuff here and there. That guy's like 12. So, you know, it's not that you should ever stop, but absolutely through the stage where you get through adolescence or into adulthood, which could be between two and three years old. So you've got a ways to go, but she has such a solid foundation, which is my goal in puppy day school and teen training, which is to give them all of those basic foundation skills that you can build on if you want. And if you really don't want, just continue to work on the stuff that we've been doing, but don't give up because I guarantee what will happen in two or three months is I'll get a text or a call from you and say, Allie, my dog won't do any of this X, Y, Z. Well, when you stop practicing, you stop working, you have a young dog, they're gonna find other things to pull reinforcement from that 
begin to outweigh all of the stuff that you've worked on. So it's really important to keep up with your training. We've had such a great time with Lena. So happy you were in our program and look forward to seeing you guys around. Thanks. neighbor dog barking touch touch Lena's really um, kind of worked up by that so in, instead of just telling her no I'm trying to get her to do some hand targeting sit good. down yes very good very good love that okay good job good job so really what we're trying to do for um, for her last for her last week is just get her to run through all of the skills we've been practicing from day one, starting with name game and turning that into a little bit of a recall activity. Go find it. Good job, Lena. Come. Yes, good girl. Right in here. Good girl. making sure that she gets to hear her release cue. Okay, before she gets up. You saw us working on her hand targeting earlier. Ready? Sit. And then just working on a little bit of leash manners. Hola, go find it. Lina, yes, good job. So right now I'm not even holding the leash, I'm just getting her to walk next to me. Moving forward, good girl, very nice. Uh, she gets really excited when she's at places like uh, playing with other dogs. Um, I told you the other day she launched herself at the puppy that I was holding, which you said is sort of a common problem. Um, so be really cognizant of stuff like that, um, so that she just does not get in the habit of of you know, jumping up on things out in public, tables, uh, other puppies that are being held, because that can translate to other things. Somebody's holding a kid and she wants to say hi. You do not want her to be you know, jumping and lunging at people. So be really careful when you're passing people or see people like that. Try to do hand targets. It's perfectly acceptable to do go find it on the ground to keep the dog low and excited about um, staying put with all fours on the ground. Um, she has done a fantastic job. I'm super proud of her. Uh, I am sure we will see each other around the hood and it's been good work with you. Bye.